This is a brief tutorial on how to set up a Glockster. Basically a Glockster is a kind of a graphical blog of multiple instructional objects that you may want to put and expose your class to. Now Glockster is not free, but you can create a 31 day free trial and see if you like it. Now once you have created um, your account, you're going to see a dashboard that looks like this and you're going to get the option to create your first Glock. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then you're presented with a series of templates you can choose from. Um, obviously, you can get an idea of what the final Glock will look like based upon it. And you can also decide how much or how little you want um, in your Glock. Obviously, the more complicated the blog, the more um, materials you have inside of it. I'm going to start fairly simple with a vertical Glock. Vertical is very tall, obviously, and narrow, but it has all the materials I need. Now, there are really simplistic tools here to use. We have a bar that kind of follows you along. Um, if we want to get rid of this bar, we would exit it out. If we want to bring it back, we would click on Tools. And there are several things you can do in this bar, obviously creating uh, text in your blog, inserting graphics, images, changing the background of the wall, um, adding pages, audio, video, and data, which would include um, any kind of uploads you'd want to um, attach, almost like an attachment to an email. So I have some things basically here already that are set with the default. I have a graphic. Um, I can choose to keep that, or of course I can delete it. I can keep this too. Maybe I want to keep this, and I'm going to show you how I can edit it. Now when I click on an object, you have several options here. Um, so you can lock it down so you won't edit it. You can go ahead and go back to any changes you've made. You can insert different kind of shadow effects. That's that option right there. Um, you can insert a link. Maybe you have a link that you would want to include in the text here. Or of course we can just double click and edit the text. So I might say welcome to my first blog. And you can move these around, of course, by clicking and dragging anywhere on your Glock. So I'm going to keep this over here. I kind of like it there. And um, this is an image that's been inserted. You might want to keep that as well. Um, it is paper. You can see here that if I, these are redo and undo buttons, this will duplicate it. So when I just click there is a duplicate button. Um, I can rotate it a little bit here, change the way it's get rid of this one by hitting the trash button. Now if I wanted to start creating stuff that wasn't there initially I can go to tools and I can create text and you got a variety of different text options um, and it kind of gives you a little bit of a preview of what that would look like. Maybe I want to go straight educational and let's go with something a little bit wavy. I'll say use that. So this is a little speech bubble I could put in here and of course I could resize by dragging the corner um, change anything I want to change. Okay. You also have some options to upload certain media, um, certain objects you might want to include. So right now you can see I'm looking at my um, desktop. I can upload things that are then saved in Glog for easy retrieval. And that's helpful for a lot of different reasons. For example, for graphics, um, you have a lot of preset graphics, but then again, you might want to have an image that you uploaded. Now, I haven't uploaded any images yet. Um, if I wanted to upload them, I could upload them very easily. Wall allows me to change my background. Um, I can go look at some different templates. For example, maybe I want to go with an uh, educational one. So I will go with, let's see, I didn't look very academic here. Well, we'll go with a simple background. I'll use that, and I'll change the entire background on my blog, as you can see. Um, I haven't uploaded any media yet, but you could add additional pages to your blog. For audio, you can upload MP3s. Now, if you record an MP3 on your own, or you want to just include a song, now I included a song right here. I uploaded from my iTunes um, by Walk Off the Earth. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to include that, and it will do is it'll add a play button. Now, if the students want to listen to music, and of course this could be your own recording as well, um, they can just click on it, but you also can set a nice option for this in the little settings here 
to autoplay, and that means the minute the glog um, is viewed, this, the, the audio will play. So if you want to narrate your glog, or if you want music playing in the background, um, that's what's going to happen there. Another option, of course, is uploading a video. Now, I had a YouTube video that I linked, and of course, you can link a YouTube video um, by connecting your account. I also can upload a video if it's in a proper format, and I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the video I uploaded, and I'm going to use that, and I can now have that to play, and as you can see, the YouTube arrow is right there. So to do it, all you do is click on the YouTube, and this is going to start playing when the glog is viewed. So you can keep adding objects. The one final thing I do want to show is that you're able to upload data. So right now I can upload a Word document, a PowerPoint, pretty much any, any computer file, and that's saved in Glock. So I uploaded a PowerPoint, and I'm going to say I'm going to use that. And you might not notice what happened when I clicked to use it, but the little clip in the corner here turned green. And that means you have actually attached a file that can be downloaded and open. So that PowerPoint now is attached to this Glock like there would be an email attachment. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this. I'm going to call it TestGlog. And it's going to give you a bunch of options. It's going to say what subject matter. So I'll just say oh, we'll make one up. Social studies and fun facts. Eh. What's this called? Prehistory. You can tag your glog. Now that is a URL, so you can share that URL because this is a public glog and it's sh shared with everybody. So I'm going to finish saving and now there it is, my URL again. I can copy the link, I can paste in the email, I can paste into a website, I can paste it into a document. Um, really the choice is yours. Now I'm going to go ahead and view the glog and I want to see what it looks like and here it is. As you can see, the music's playing. Here's all my text. If I want to download the file, it's right there. If I want to play the video, video will play right there in the blog. So as you can see, the benefits here are that you never really leave the blog. And again, talking about WebQuest or keeping kids on a guided uh, web search, um, you can create a glog and it's all right there. And there's really no limit to how much you put on your glog. So it can be very, very intense and um, contain all the materials, multiple variation of materials that you can use. So that's it for the glog. And again, this is public, so it's shared very nicely. You can print out the glog um, as well. So a lot of options here. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed creating your first glog.